All right, we've got to talk about these two shows, AW and NXT tonight, and uh, AW from the UBS Arena. And the first half hour of this show was fascinating as it's MJF, it's Long Island, and they hit MJF's music, and instead CM Punk comes out, and he just goes total heel on these fans. It's like Bret Hart in Canada for MJF. He's burying the fans. He's got a he's bur- burying the burying the Islanders and burying the fans for ch- for cheering for um, MJF because of reciting how MJF keeps backing down to him. And yeah, what do you say? Like, uh, just kind of like you can you fans look yourselves in the mirror. He was really going after them for he was him. he was going hard on the fans. He was going hard on MJF. Couldn't believe they were behind this guy. This guy even threatened his dog Larry. He said Larry had more balls than MJF and he was neutered and he says if this guy wants to stand up and fight I'll stand up and fight but no one's no one's he challenged him to fight right then and there in in uh Long Island he says he's not gonna fight none of you fans are gonna fight you're all chicken shit and he left this was this was amazing and then they hit MJF's music after the break because he's coming out for the battle royal well, they did and, the, big vi- the big video for him. Yep, they had a video about his high school days. He was, uh, they said he was all-state football player, and I don't know if he was. Never but. taken down in wrestling. Got all the women. He and, shows up in this car. The place just goes crazy for this guy. He comes out. Heroes welcome. And this led to the Dynamite Diamond Battle Royal. And, uh, and he worked as a total heel. Well, Hiding I, behind Wardlow the whole match. He was he was a heel who was beloved, and every time someone tried to eliminate him, they were booed, even though he was being a cowardly heel. And it finally came down to MJF, Dante Martin, and Ricky Starks. And, of course, Dante Martin had allegedly joined Team Taz, which is pretty clear this was going to be a swerve. And, in fact, it was. And Dante turned on Ricky Starks and threw him out. So MJF and Dante Martin win. It is MJF and Dante next week for the ring. And after the match, Dante gets attacked by Ricky Starks. MJF walks up the ramp, and he keeps looking back like, eh, should I help this well, guy? Okay, so one of the things was MJF and, and Dante shook hands after the, after the match when they were the final two. So then when he leaves, the fans are telling MJF to come back, and he's, like, doing this thing where he's debating if he's going to do it. And then he decides not to, and then he turns around and he sprints to the ring. And, he's got and, this look on his face, this fiery baby face going to save this guy, and instead he gets in the ring and he starts beating on his ass. On Dante. Yeah. Not, and Dante, not on Ricky Starks. So he's stomping on Dante, and Punk runs down, and Punk ends up hitting the GTS on Ricky Starks. And uh, Punk was still booed like crazy coming to make the save for uh, for Dante. So he was clearly going to be the heel throughout this entire show. And uh, I really liked this first half hour. I thought it was great. It was interesting to watch. So the, the, the main stuff that they made very clear is that Punk is going after the championship. Um, that the winner of Hangman and Brian Danielson next Wednesday will face... Probably the winner of a match whenever this happens between MJF and Punk. And Punk basically said, which you all know is going to be me. So that feels like it's probably going to be... because Well, would, they also had another line later in the show, Dave, where they noted that MJF was a two-time winner of the ring and he had beaten Hangman Page. Oh, they said that, they've already said that before. To win it the first time, so... Just because Punk said it's it's surely going to be me. I mean, it could very easily be MJF. Well, they've been teasing MJF getting the thing, and MJF is the heel. So that would require uh, Punk to put over MJF, which I think that he would certainly do. Um, so it becomes a question. I mean, do you go with... I mean, Punk would be the bigger draw if we're looking at... Um, well, whenever. If we're looking at, at, at Clash of the First Clash, if we're looking at the pay-per-view, which they announced the date. So it's 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 um, March the 6th, which is a Sunday in Orlando, but not at the Amway Arena. It's at the uh, – this is – okay. I mean, there's a reason they're doing this is because they can get the arena for three days. But they are doing a pay-per-view in a building that they could probably put maybe – 6,500 people in 
and I mean that should that should be a very tough ticket to get. I mean, it's probably going to be a sellout. Very. I mean, I would think. I mean, I know Florida's sort of deadish right now because they, you know, whatever. And Orlando gets, you know, I mean, like NXT is free, and you know the they, you know, they they're running their tapings at Universal and everything. But this is a pay per view show, and and AEW has great pay per view shows. But um, and yeah, they're running it in a sixty five hundred seat building, so it will be interesting to see how quick those tickets go and how much demand there is for those tickets across the board because i could certainly see like you know scalpers hit and miss a lot when it comes to pro wrestling but this one looks pretty promising i mean as far as like there's too few tickets i would think there's too few tickets for what the demand will be for this show but um yeah, I mean, like, they have that. They have the Charlotte show. Um, I mean, they got a lot of the first show on TBS. There's a lot of big shows coming up that that um, that they have to fill big matches in. And it's, it's obvious because they ran a million angles tonight, probably too many, especially in the second half of the show. I mean, it was angle after angle, but it was building up match after match. So there's, um, yeah, a lot of, you know. But, I mean, Punk, Punk challenging for the title is still, like, is prob that's probably the biggest match that they have from a drawing power standpoint right now. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.